Back at the John Deere Classic. Live look at the 19. Jordan Spieth on the tee at this par five. Jim Gallagher with this group. And bunker is about 270 to carry the bunker on the left. 20 to the right bunker. This one looks like it's drawing a little too much, though. Nice bounce. Nice bounce. And that's the one thing you've got to do is drive it well at this golf course. It's tight and tree lined and they've got some rough this year and Jordan not happy with that one. Hey, he's going to have to really draw this. And always hard to hook it coming at a long rough. You get too much grass between your club face and the ball and just cannot get it to turn over. That happened to Jordan right there. And he short sides himself in that right green side bunker at the ninth. All right, we go back to the ninth. Jordan Spieth analyzing his bunker shot at the ninth. Jim, you get a look at the line. Yeah, it's not bad. It's sitting on the upslope. The problem is the green goes away and his landing nose is always hard to, to really get enough spin from this distance of a shot. But uh, sitting pretty decent. Just a matter of if he can just kind of get the club under it and get a little spin. Needs to land it maybe on the fringe to keep it short of the hole. Nice yeah, you don't play the second toughest on the golf course today. Yeah, and you've got to put it in the fairway, and that's what Jordan didn't do. And you saw both guys that did hit it in the fairway, still had 200 yards left. And uh, as Jim was referring to, you've got to have a lot of speed with this shot to get any spin on it. So there you go. Jordan put a lot of speed on it. He caught a little clean, carries it by the hole. Spin was okay, but just carried it too far. Jordan Spieth will have some work left for his par at the ninth. He's won. Yeah, and the players know that starting the week, Bob. They know that the golf course is in perfect condition. The weather is pretty benign this time of year. So really to go out and understand they need to be posting four or five under every round. Jordan Spieth for his par at the ninth. The wanders right. And that's all set up by the poor tee shot. You have to hit it in the fairway, and Jordan turns the front nine one over. Not the start he was looking for. He had about a four foot birdie putt at seven to go two under for the day. So, really, not the finish on the first nine he was hoping for. Now, Jordan needs to get this up and down and get going. He really does. He missed that putt at seven, kind of just kind of slowed the momentum, and then bogeys at eight and nine. So, 77 yards. Should be a perfect angle. Though. The other two balls are a little more on the upslopes. Well, we know he's not going to panic. He's cool under pressure. Currently tied for 119th. Just there you go. About seven feet there for birdie for Jordan Spieth to get back to even. So Jordan Spieth making the turn at one over. Justin Thomas, Brad Hop this morning with an eight under 63. This is the side you can really get it going on. There's a short par 4 14. And there's the par 5 17 that most likely is reachable. Well, you went out the next day expecting <laughs> to play well. And then if it, if you hadn't made any birdies by about the third to fourth hole, you start you start panicking. US Open and Masters champion goes for the tee. Usually a good sign. We'll take a look at Jordan Spieth, his putting stroke on the last green. Here's the man of the moment. So much pressure on this young man's shoulders. Well, there really is. 152 yards, trying to get on a hard nine iron here. He just doesn't look comfortable, Jimmy. You're missing that one on the short side. Quite get that one the way he wanted either. A little out of sorts, Jim. Yeah, he's just a little bit out of sorts. Just looks like he hadn't played in a couple of weeks. Just not as sharp as he uh, is. A, you know, he'll he'll get it. It's just like you said, trying to play. Uh, I like playing going into a major as opposed to taking two or three weeks off. But he may not have lost his turn. It's always yeah. awkward when you've got a chip shot, a couple of guys on the green, and it's still your shot when you get there. And he's going to have his patience tested, David. I mean, as, as much as anything else, he, the way he's played so far this year, it, there hasn't been any testing his oh. patience. Great attempt there. Yeah, it was a great effort. 
It's been a while since he's made three bogeys out of four holes. No kidding. And he hasn't been here that long. Good thing he's not fighting sharks today. <laughs> Winning the first two majors, and the third coming up. Just, uh, it's hard to imagine what's going on inside that young head. He's already shown he can cope with it. Right there and threw 10 birdies at this golf course today. It's another bogey for Jordan. to get rewarded with the win last week is awfully big and uh, to come back and make a good start right here is a testament to his skill and then Jordan has pulled another one that's left so he's been left right and then back to the left again. Three bogeys over his last four holes for Jordan Spieth trying to find his game here at the John Deere Classic. Back at the John Deere Classic, look at the par 3 12th. And Jordan Spieth will be first to play in a lot of frustration. Three bogeys over his last four holes, Jim. Yeah, but this is a shot he can kind of make. That's not a bad lie at all. Just kind of get it releasing. Oh, he's just moved his head and decelerated. He's really frustrated. It's two holes in a row, huh? Yes, it is. That wasn't that easy. That wasn't that tough a lie. Well, Jim, for the last week, he's probably been hitting a lot of shots, working on his game, and maybe hadn't spent enough time chipping. You know, that's the thing that you've always got to go spend a little extra time on when you've taken a week away from the game. That that leaves as quick as anything else. Jordan Spieth trying to avoid a fourth bogey in the last five holes. Yeah, this is a good four or five feet and needs a good stroke. There you go. So Jordan Spieth remains two over. Down. All right, we're finding more trouble, Jordan. Yeah, he hooked that tee shot really bad left. Uh, ball well below his feet. This really s a lot of sand right there. Really easy to hit this fat. You know, that's where they move, kind of rake the, the sand up towards the lip. 126 yards. Be a pretty good pitching wedge to get back there. Sound like he caught it pretty clean. All right, right about where David Toms just putted from. All right, 13, and Spieth is due. Lanny, if he makes his putt, will you sing a little blue velvet for us? Come on, you got to help him out. Got to get him going. Now the rest of us are hoping he doesn't. I don't know that I can go that far, but I am pulling for him. Well, you better tune it up. Oh, no. <laughs> blue velvet. There you go. He's got his blue on the day. That gets him back to plus one. So 14, he can birdie. That's a short par four. 15's a good hole. 13's Matt. short. Jordan Spieth at the 14th. Jim Gallagher is there. That was from 71 yards. Perfect yardage. Oh, oh boy, it is. Yeah. No, I'll cheer him up a little. Sellers. Well, it's comfortably swatted in. There, back to even. This is one club Justin's got to, I think, if there's any room for improvement in his game, it's with this club. I think he needs to hit more fairways and just make life a little simpler on himself. All right! He's got such a great short game that, if, you know, when he puts it in the fairway, he takes advantage of his iron games. And if he does have a decent lie, he's got a tree about 50 yards just short of him, can go over the branch. I'm not quite sure he can get to the pin or if he really wants to. Just going to loft this little nine iron up over it. Coming off back to back birdies. Oh my gosh. The first tree? What? Wow, Dude, that, that, hit, the, that hit the first tree about 10 yards in front of him. 
Even he seems shocked by it, Jim. That wasn't anywhere where he was aiming. A group of Jordan Spieth, Brian Harmon, and Danny Lee over at the 15th. Lanny got a really good line, a pretty good break here. Not much to this pitch shot right here. Got about 20 feet to get to the green, but sitting up pretty good. Yeah, almost better being in the rough. Get the club underneath the ball up in the air, a little softer. This is part of his game that so far this year has just been absolutely automatic. Except for the two holes today where he made back to back bogeys, but well done there. Yeah, that, I mean, that would be a very average shot for him the way he's been playing these shots this year. He's one of the best pitchers, chippers of the ball I've ever seen. The second shot hit a tree down that right hand side. Pitched his third to here. So par for Jordan Spieth at 15 after back to back birdies at 13 and 14. Spieth as we go out to 16. Yeah, the signature par three here. Signature hole at DPC at Deer Run on the banks of the Rock River. So I'm back on that tee there, Jim. Yeah, 157 yards. Spieth with the nine iron. You know that whole location on the left could use the slope to the right. Now this started out well right. Doesn't look like it's drawn much. Oh, not much. Needs a little help from that slope. And it backed up off that down towards the lower portion. So he is, like Lanny said, he's out of rhythm. And I know it's early, but the cuts possibly around four under par tomorrow, maybe three under. So Jordan's got some work to do. Well, Jordan Speed's going to be away and got him just inside of 40 feet. Jim Gallagher has been following this group all day. Yeah, and this putt's really slow, Matt, if you've seen all day. It's kind of it's almost located on a little bit of a slope, especially uh, the last uh, foot and a half. So might swing a little to his right to left. Speed's just been average on this uh, for the day for, for Jordan. Some of the, the lengthy putts just hadn't quite had the speed, but this one's really slow to me. Well, what we have seen, though, is that if uh, guys have pretty decent speed and they miss, they've been rolling by about four or five feet. So not so much really from his angle because he's coming more up the hill, but definitely swinging right to left. Pretty two out of his last three holes to get back to even. Walking right away. Didn't like it, but uh, a couple of feet short. Straight up the hill for a par. Just going to throw a little coin on there and wait for a minute. Stay out of everybody's through line. All right, back out to 16 now. It uh, just a routine tap in for par three. All right, so Jordan's got the par five straight ahead. Maybe he can get there in two and make an eagle. Good to a beautiful tee shot there for uh, Jordan, Jimmy. Yeah, 246 in. Looks like a long iron. All three players hit great drives. As you know, that's a very tough driving hole. Real easy to bail it out to the right. This is a three iron, we believe. It is. There's a better looking swing. Just a little left, though. Well, get on the upslope. Should have a chance from there, that's for sure. Well, on Jordan, looks like he's going to play a little chip and check here and check. Nope, no check. Check, please. Oh, what a day. Jordan uh, needs this one and a few more. He does really kind of got to get uh, got to get this one in there because it's going to put a lot of stress on tomorrow. Scores, like you said, are going to continue to be good. The weather's going to stay nice, getting warmer. The ball is going to go a little bit further. He made his practice swing in his head over it. A couple of looks. I needed a fraction higher. <laughs> Never seen that, Lanny, have you? I can't believe you brought that up. <laughs> 
on the tee at 18. Eight off the pace right now. <laughs> That was a nice looking swing, better speed, good balance, and that is right down the middle. Excellent shot. This group, Jordan Spieth, second into 18. Yeah, he set up just a few feet right of the flag, maybe trying to hit just a little turn to see if he can stay in this one, keep his head down a little longer. I think he did there. That was a better looking swing. Balance was better. Shot was better. Everything. Very nice. Well done. Jordan Spieth will have an opportunity to close with birdie. Implementing it back on the golf course is the tough part. Yeah, I don't think he'd have a second thought there, Jim. I, I think he knows he in, in the golf part of playing today has proved that he needs to play more golf right now. It's birdie putt at 18, and that stays left the whole way. There's been five Open champions who have competed on the PGA Tour the week before winning. Tony Lima, 1964. Lee Trevino, 1971, won the Canadian Open. Then went on to win the Open Championship. Then in 72, winner again, Ian Baker Finch and Todd Hamilton, a par for Jordan Spieth. So Lee Trevino did it twice. Yeah, and that's surprising. Lee Trevino now representing the, the Greenbrier as their pro emeritus. He was around last week during the tournament and started his second round at the 10th hole, made a birdie at 14, and then a birdie putt at the par 316. Well, and he gets the putter really going today, makes a lot of putts. This is a beauty right here, left to right down the hill. Perfect speed. And then over at 18, his ninth hole of the day, and making a lot of long putts. Well, he is a lot of long putts, and look at the pace they're going in. Absolutely perfect. All right, over at the first, his 10th hole of the day, keeps it rolling with this birdie putt. Yeah, 10 feet's got to look like a gimme to him the way he's rolling it today. Then at the par five second, going to the green in two. And what a shot, beautiful fairway metal coming in here to this hole. Hole location all the way in the back. Keeps it down, chases it back to the flag. Just really well done. Sets up a golden opportunity for Eagle at the second. And just hitting the ball beautifully and piece of cake for Jordan Spieth. Yeah, this is actually a waste of time right here. <laughs> Made it that easy. Then his birdie putt at the fifth, par four fifth. Yeah, another one, 20, 25 feet. Look at this, just perfect pace. Uh, the, the hole has to look as big as a bucket to him today. His tee shot at the seventh, par playing 179 yards today. Yeah, hole location on the left side, you don't really want to attack that hole. Use the slope on the right-hand side of the green. He does that perfectly. Look at this shot. Really well thought out, well played, if indeed that's the way he played it. Turned out great. Sets himself up for birdie putt at the seven. Pours this in to get eight under par. He would have a misstep on the way in over his final two holes. He'd make a bogey over at the eighth. But Welcome from Dallas, Texas, former John Deere Classic champion and reigning Masters and U.S. Open champion, Jordan Speed. <laughs> In contention again this week after a Friday 64, how much has his world changed since he picked up his first tour victory as a 19-year-old here 24 months ago? Our man Jordan Spieth, as we are live at one, he's playing with Brian Harmon, the defending champion, and Jordan has 130 to the hole. Yes, how about that? The last two JDC champions playing together here in the third round. Jordan not too happy with that little wedge. Right out. Oh, and that'll be wet and juicy back there where the crowds have been standing and congregating behind the back of the first green. Let's see what uh, David Jordan has here for his third shot at one. Well, he uh, has got a relatively clean lie actually down grain, which is what you would want. Uh, look at the back of the ball. Well, not such a difficult shot as it turns out. Yes, there I was, David, saying how difficult the chipping would be from the rough, but he actually got quite fortunate there that it wasn't sitting down in that thick stuff. Jordan now for par. Very important putt to start the day off with a good, confident up and down after the poor wedge. 
There we go. All right. He's been doing that pretty well lately. Counted <laughs> by trees. Well, since the, the storm has blown through, the wind has really died down quite a bit. Now on the tee with the driver. They like it. As well they should. He's done the first part of this hole well. Put it in the fairway. Now, David, what's Jordan got left for his second? 259 to the hole. And uh, a little downwind off the left, which makes it kind of hard to get at this flag stick on the left hand side. But uh, you know, plenty of club there with uh, a, little, a little hybrid. In fact, he has three wood, which is, I imagine it with Mike Greller there, he's uh, trying to figure out how to scrub a little off this. Yeah, be careful because if you quit on it with too much club, you're going to generally miss it left. Looks like he's setting up to hit a high cut, though. Staring it down as well he should. Is that any good? <laughs> really? Oh boy, that's just spectacular shot with the water left like that. Amazing. He thing. knows exactly what he's doing. Now Jordan for his tap in for Eagle. We saw him working on a bunch of stuff, videotaping his golf swing on the range while he was worn up for this round. And on putts of this length, as is normally the Approach, he looks at the hole, taps it in. Two players play the par five second hole in six strokes. That's pretty sporty. Par three, 130 today in Jordan Spieth. And he has his 52 degree. You got four wedges in the bag, 46, 52, 54, and a 60. Front of the green for the hole location today. Took dead aim as well. Did you notice that? He lined the ball up. A lot of players will do that on short threes. Look at that shot. Right over the flag. And he it's is like long darts. Dialed in early. Well, I'll take a shot at this one too. I thought it was maybe just a fraction outside the right. Expert read from your course reporter. <laughs> Jordan expected that break. It didn't. So yeah. that'll be a disappointing par. At least he thought the same as you, David. <laughs> Jordan Spieth now at the fourth. Yeah, the 451 yard par four. Jordan Spieth went to the right of the big tree there in the middle of the fairway. And David Faraday's really with this good. group. Yes, Matt, he has 173 yards left uh, on what is actually a, an intimidating second shot if there's no crowd. But there's a lot of people behind here and. Uh, off the left. Yeah, David, those people were not behind the green. This is actually up on a, bl a big bluff, so it just looks like it falls off the, the world back yeah, there. It, it falls off the world down to the river valley, and, and the people give it some definition there. Oh, come on. Video. God. Seven iron, I believe. Not sure what he meant by video there. Well, I think that's what he was watching earlier. Yeah, well, on the range warming up, he certainly was looking at a swing on his camera phone or his phone. Best, absolute best on the tour. Still going to miss four greens in regulation on average per day. Oh. All right, it's going to have about nine feet left for par. 
That's a good effort because, you know, now he's got an uphill left rider there. Yeah, another couple of feet, that was off the green. All right, he's been one-putting like crazy here. David? Yeah, just about left edge. How about that? Again, momentum, you know, you just, if you can avoid dropping strokes, just gut out a hard par and then you never know when the floodgates open and you can start running off more birdies. Jordan Spieth now, his second shot. The pitching wedge. He drives that one in low, it should spin. Right at the flagstick. Yeah, these greens are so wet. There's so much water in them right now that it's hit and splat, not hit and spin back very much. Now, if they dry out just a little bit, the players are going to have to be a little bit more conscious of how much spin they put on the golf ball because it will start to come back. Is there much in this putt, David? I didn't see much in it at all. If anything, I thought it might just sneak a little right at the end. It's pretty straight. Looks to be aiming like it's going to sneak a little left at the end. A <laughs> hole. Uh -huh. Could happen, trust uh -oh. me. Uh, no, I, I'm going to give myself. Sorry, sorry the, David, i got to give it Spieth one, Faraday zip. <laughs> I'm giving myself the benefit of the doubt there. <laughs> All right, Jordan Spieth now. Three under. Spencer Levine, right. by the way, yep. tapped the in for his birdie at two. Left, but as long as it's not hit too hard, it should just stay in the rough. <laughs> The good thing about Jordan is he makes our job so much easier. Certainly does. He's like a computer program, always on. Oh, and he's hitting a little seven iron from 129 yards. It's underneath the foliage. He heard it uh, slap some leaves on the way through. Our viewers would love to be able to play. There's a sand wedge. He'll drive it in low, two or three skips throw out a parachute and then just let it run out slowly to the hole. That's the plan. This is really five and six, yeah. a big part of the game that's made so much easier with the lift clean in place. If you're in the short grass around the greens, being able to put it on a perfect lie with a clean ball really makes chipping and pitching so much easier. Perfect setup there. Just perfect. <laughs> And almost a perfect Goodness result. Gracious. And he's thinking, how did that stay out? Really? It had a good look at the bottom of the hole and just it had some willpower to stay out. He's a good listener, Mike Greller, isn't he? David? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one of the things you have to be. Yeah, yeah, I agree. A lot of things caddies have to be. Uh, you know what, he, he knows Jordan so well, and, and one of the great tricks uh, and being a great caddy is to know when your player wants your opinion, and the difference between that and when he wants his own opinion confirmed, and there's a little psychology in that. Mm. These two have it. Yeah. Yes. Chemistry is tremendous. Yeah, it, I think it's a... a Jordan Spieth on the tee. With a three iron and a little breeze in, too. Now he need to hit this. 231 yards and his misses, he's had two of them, they've been right. It's super oh, missed this one to the right as well. Oh, it might, if it was just a bit firmer, it might have made it. Oh. It's uh, a little right to left. Most of the way, it may turn a little more sharply at the end. Uh, miles away here, three would be good. It's gotta be close to 60 feet. You're very good, 58-6. He's had two misses to the right, and it didn't cost him a shot. Got up and down at four, and almost pitched in at six. And his right miss here bounced back onto the green, so technically a green in regulation, but I'm probably thinking there's something a little bit off there. That course, and this one is just a beautiful piece of land. There's no homes on it. And the old white last week as well. Land donated by the Deer family. In fact, right behind this green 
are a few Arabian horses, which they used to raise right here on this land. But uh, the eighth tee, where they'll go next, is right on this uh, edge of the old farm. Ten under par. Very good field each year, even though it's the week before a major. Very strong field. That includes this young man out at eight. And that is a very big pitching wedge from 144 yards and very straight as it happens. Oh! Oh! Boy, he's hit a lot of shots straight at the flag with the wedges. That was unfortunate. Jordan Spieth now for his birdie. For once, golf taketh away, but it giveth back. Over to nine. Here's Jordan. Coming off the birdie, the ninth playing is one of the hardest holes on the course this week. It's only slightly more off center than the last putt that he hit. <laughs> Jordan Spieth at nine. 224 Two. remaining. Yeah, and this is that strong three iron. It's just majestic. Yeah, beautiful shot. Just trying to drift it in there a little left, right. Spectacular. In the Quad Cities, I think per capita raise more money for local charities than, than any other event. And this to join our leaders at 12 under. Co leader. Eight top five finishes, three wins, including the two majors in his last 13 starts, and he is right in the thick of things once again, heading into St. Andrews. We out to 10. Now 599 yard par, five. Probably not reachable for even Jordan Spieth. So most likely, yeah, not much roll. The, back to 10. And Jordan now just looks like a layup shot here there, David. Yep. That's what it is. Just uh, figure out what you want for your third. Yeah, but just a six iron, maybe a five iron. Get yourself right around 100 yards. And with lift clean in place in effect today, doesn't matter where that ball ended up, as long as it's in the fairway. This weak sand wedge, 87 yards. Throw it all the way back there, David, and get it to spin right away. Needed about another four or five paces. It's a little ridge right there. All right, it stayed up. I'll tell you, another four or five feet. That one would have hit the flagstick too. Needs to have more speed. Needs to have more speed. Right on line. Perfect read. Just didn't quite hit it, but the uh, par five for Jordan, and he'll stay at 12 under par. That's got to feel catastrophic. Hold. Yeah, it's you know you got to think that you got a wedge in your hand. That guy doesn't make pars too often. Go to the 11th. Second shot for Jordan Spieth. Nine iron, 147 yards. Should be a very good yardage for a nice soft cut to that hole. He just hit it dead straight. All right, he'll have a run at it. Justin Thomas did tap in. At five, so he is in the thick of things as we go out to the play at the 11th. Jordan to join our leaders. We saw the approach shot, now the birdie putt. Little left to right, and just straightening at the end. We could try again. I can't remember the last time he hit a putt that within about two inches of the hole at some point. It's a kind of stress for you, doesn't it? A little more chase. Over to 12. Jordan. Four iron. 224 on the card today. Right at the flagstick. Just for a change. You're right. Beautiful shot. That we have had one fella recently has had all four of them on his coffee table <laughs> at the same time. The Tiger Slam. It's interesting, Jordan made the commitment to play here months ago, not knowing, of course, that he would be here the week before the Open Championship, having won two straight majors. But he said he was honoring the commitment, but he just didn't feel like it would hurt his chances next week. Looked at it as a way of getting his feel back after a little time off and 
together some competitive momentum heading into the Open Championship, and he certainly has accomplished that. This for Birdie. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. And I think more importantly, Peter Costas touched on it before. In the back of his mind, he's honored a commitment. He feels better about himself that he has come back here like he said he would. Too often these days, uh, athletes, not just in golf, but for his par. See it going in. Last command to himself. Give yourself a positive thought. Okay. Well, Ian, earlier in the day, you heard him say video, and he was looking at video he was taking of his swing at the John Deere Classic. And uh, as we leave you, here's Jordan Spieth, who is right in the thick of things. He's at minus 12, five under for his third round after a brilliant round 64 yesterday. Here's Jordan Spieth for birdie at 13. This to go to 13 under. Had a share of the lead a short time ago. Now back to within one of the lead. Danny. The drivable par 4, 14th Jordan Spieth doing what everybody's doing today, laying up. Beautiful low driven shot with a sand wedge. Go, go. Oh, yeah. Just gorgeous. Well, those low wedges, David, are going to come in handy next week. And they're also very good this week with the soft conditions. Just has to do wonders for your confidence, although I'm not sure this young man needs a boost in the confidence direction right now. Oh, geez. Wow. It didn't move at all, and it should break outside the hole. I don't know if it bounced or what, but I hit a good part. Jordan back on the tee. Fine day after 64 yesterday, six under for his third round. He's played this hole in even par this week. And again to the right. This is what happens with his swing. It just gets a little bit stuck behind him and uh, he flares it out to the right. Oh, that is a long way right. Over to Jordan Speed at 15. And through the trees, that's where Jordan ended up. David, what are his options here? Oh, he might have chosen to play that had it not been in such a bad life. And there, yeah, that's a hickory tree, a nasty looking one in front of him. And he's got to get it up over that. 160 to the front right is what he'd be thinking. 196 to the hole. Guys, I'm actually coming right over you on the corner there. Thank you. Perfect. Some of the folks back and now ready to go. Just getting it back in. Nice shot. Yeah, that's pretty much all he could do there. I agree. Obviously dropped it into a, not a great lie either. Down there, way short of the green, left himself about 75 yards to the hole. Excellent decision. Wise move. And there is Jordan Spieth. Yeah, 64. In little trouble here at the 15th after a brilliant, brilliant day. He's within one of the leads, six under for his third round. And here's his third shot on this par four. Straight forward with the sand wedge. Looking for one bounce and halt. Oh, boy, he didn't want it to jump in the air. It just almost bounced backwards. Left hand low, reverse overlap. In the middle. Just such a great putter. He read it right. <laughs> nice save. And Jordan Spieth next to hit. Nine iron. Seems to be the club du jour. Straight out of it's all day enough. Yeah. It's always fun to see athletes at their at their oh, best. Yeah, 
been able to watch Jordan over the last 45 shot. 16, Jordan Speeth for birdie. You know, David, it's like he expects to make every putt. He's almost in shock when it doesn't go in. Going from to 17, finally the tee is cleared. Important tee shot for Jordan Spieth. Well, that's not what? Right. Once in a while, he gets set up a little bit, as I see it, with his weight back on his heels, which affects his ability to turn. And that's why I think he's got the double miss going, David. His arm swing and his turn aren't quite synced up. And back over to 17. Third shot for Jordan Spieth. 107 yards, sandwich. Drives it in low again. Struck it beautifully. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. <laughs> Tee shot set it up. I'm not even sure he liked that when he hit it. Over to 18 T. All right. Here's Jordan. First time with the outright lead. All right. Well, we didn't want to All go right. right again, apparently. Well, he went hard right at 15, a hook at 17, and now hard right at 18. Nope, that was not lucky. Oh, it's not a bad lie, though. It's no. uh, it's set up, David. Yep. Uh, I... Now, uh, yeah, sorry, Billy. Uh, Ian, you were quite right. This ball is actually setting up. Right. Amazingly, it's on a, yeah. like its own little chia pad. Yeah. Got to overdo it a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah, got a good kick down the hill a little and set up nicely. So don't be too aggressive here, Jordan. Just uh, 30 foot right of the hole would be nice. Nine iron. To the green, oh, wow. 151 yards. <laughs> right at it again. He can't help himself. It wasn't that easy. <laughs> He had to keep that down underneath the limbs in front of him. Yeah, that was an incredible shot. Have all three ingredients. You can be a very good putter with two out of three, but the great putters are exceptionally good at all three, Peter. That's a very interesting point. To shoot 61. Unbelievable. What a finish. Birdie, eagle, birdie. For 61. This kid just keeps getting better. He has just been remarkable. 61. After 64 yesterday. Yesterday, Jordan Spieth recorded his 12th round this season in which he recorded seven or more birdies in a round. That's a lot of birdies and a lot of really wonderful putting. And the good thing about his putting is he has been very consistent with it all year. On the tee with a 1240 start time. Welcome from Dallas, Texas, former John Deere Classic champion and current Masters and U.S. Open champion, Jordan Speed. <laughs> Going with three with three medal off this hole today. Yesterday he hit driver. Today fairway wood. Really wants to get it in the fairway, make a positive start. Doesn't like that. That is not a good sign when you're going to start missing fairways that bad with three wood. So he's up on the cart path, up uh, actually up on the right side of the. Uh, the hill is going to be a very tricky lie over there. Jim, my guess is he drops it a couple times and ends up placing it. That's exactly right. 
No relief. No relief. No. Don't no. no. play over it as he lies. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like you, Jim. I thought that might have been unusual damage, which they can designate ground under repair, but they did not. Now, there's no tree trouble. It's just a matter of the lion. How he can come in on this. He needs to kind of trap it. That came out really heavy and short. It's going to be a tough up and down to start the day for Jordan. Not, not the start he was looking for on a pretty simple first hole. Did it's a little thin and there's a little bit of dirt underneath. It's just a matter if there's any of the sand that's underneath this. It's a really tricky lie, but if you want somebody to have this shot, it's him. He's got about 25 feet of green to work with. And this may be a little simpler shot than having a long bunker shot this early in the day as well. I agree. Carried it past the hole. You heard he got it hot. That's not what he wanted to do. What meant to land it probably about that far short of the hole at least. Zach Johnson made his birdie at the second, so he's at 14 under. Three off the lead of Wagner and Jordan Spieth. Beath, a sloppy first hole makes bogey and falls out of the lead just like that. Jordan Spieth set to play. Yeah, in perfect position there, Jim. He is. He is 212. This is a five iron. Wind a little from his left to right. Just, just a half a club short. You like the putter here, Lanny? I think as much as anything else, yeah, he's rolling it so well. I mean, fringes are really nice. Balls coming through there nice. Get that in your hand. It came up about three feet short and left, but shouldn't be too much problem to make his birdie. Shouldn't be much here, Jim, just maybe right edge. You know, yeah, Michael Griller, take a look at it as well. Gets the birdie, and uh, after that bogey at the first, he's back to even par, co-leader. We're underway in the final round of the John Deere Classic. Jordan Spieth on the tee at the par three third. 190 yards, six iron, plays uphill about 12 steps, whole location on that back right. Hammered that long and a little bit left. Going to have a good 50 that feet from there. Considerably. These trees are as well. Okay. So just a touch left of the pin. Back live with the John Deere Classic, Jordan Spieth. Loose start for Jordan. Made bogey at the first, birdie at the second, and then long and left with his tee shot at the par three third. Jimmy's got. Uh, pretty tough putt here to judge. Yeah, he really does. It swings pretty good right to left, but the biggest part is the speed at the end. It gets a little bit quicker, about eight feet from the hole. Really goes away from him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. See, are you watching it? Yep. Hey, that a lot of respect leaves it about four or five feet short. That one not dead by any stretch of the imagination. No. The back to three. Our putt for Jordan Spieth. He really just has to commit to the line here. Total trust. I think he hit it as hard as he was thinking. Jordan usually hits those putts in a little Hold firmer. Up there, guys. Thank you. Three hundred twenty-three to that bunker. So we can't get to it. Uh -oh, All right. There's All right. High grass over there. If this is as right as I think it is, 
Oh, all it's right. Perfect. Yeah, Jim. Boy, he got right around that corner. Uh, just not in sync yet, but we know Jordan has the ability to have Jordan Spieth. He said four right, but this is actually a perfect spot. Yeah, I think we got some uh, a pretty good break there because it did start a little bit right, but it drew back 120 yards location on that front left. Sometimes when the bad's going, goofy things happen. Obviously, Danny Lee just got a stroke penalty. He's supposed to fall right. I just don't know he's had the speed today. He's been off on that just a little bit. Well, I'd take 20 under par go to the clubhouse right now. That would be the target number. PC Deer Run, final round of the John Deere Classic. A few early bumps in the road for Jordan Spieth trying to bring it back. A couple of early bogeys, but with that putt and that birdie, he's back to level. Look in on Jordan, who's been fighting it here early in his final round. Here he is at seven as we're live. This for birdie. Narrowly missing that one, but he needs to get something going right now. It's a different person this morning to what we saw late yesterday afternoon when he shot 61. Just even par now through seven holes. He finished birdie, eagle, birdie yesterday. Now Jordan Spieth has found the bunker, David. Yeah, he's got a nice clean lie there. He's down a little above the ball. He didn't have a particularly good warm-up session on the on the range this morning. He was fighting it just a little bit and it appears to have carried over to the golf course. He's working on stuff with Cameron McCormick, his teacher, getting ready for next week. Took out his phone and videoed his swing again. That's a nine iron. Stay there. He did well to keep the spin off that. That's okay. Eight. And the birdie try for Jordan Spieth. As I said earlier, he did not have a great warm up session, but turned to his caddy Michael and said, eh, Let's go to the golf course. We'll get it worked out there. Pressure might be starting to work on him a little bit. As we go to the tee at the ninth, and here's Jordan. And well over 100 volunteers helping the green staff here get this course in immaculate condition. No one helping me. That's perfect. You don't need any help, David. That is <laughs> ideal up there on top of the hill. Now, Two, Jordan. 227, Billy, and a three iron for Jordan. That one dead straight. Popular spot, last three groups. Also flies the green. Now, this is the uh, shot we've seen a bunch of today. Yeah, it's a little pillow of grass behind this, is just what you don't want. Very difficult. And he's got to try and get that same feel here in his practice swings. That's what he's attempting to do, get a feel for how that club will get through it or not. Just barely got it on and it trickles down. That's pretty good from there. That really was an awful lie. We saw Tom Gillis and Zach Johnson both leave it in the rough. Jordan for par. Oh. Nice save. To 10. All right, Jordan Speed's got to be thinking nine holes, four under. Get him however you can. This will be a three shot par five. And remember how he finished yesterday with birdie, eagle, birdie. That was his four under. Let's go back to the 10th. Jordan Spieth with a great angle to that whole location today, David. Yeah, 78 yards, and this is weak sandwich, man. 
tries to hit little cut sand wedges, so that should spin down to the right. Not as much as he thought. Yeah, I won't be overjoyed with that. I think most people will be well pleased, but as good as he is. Well, Jordan needs to give himself nine chances on this side. He's got a good look here for birdie. David going a little right to left. Yeah, it is a little right to left, although there's a sneaky little tilt from the water just uh, to the left as he looks at it, so it may not turn that much at the end. Oh, oh went right boy. underneath it. Yeah, I just needed a half ounce more. It's a good putt. I'll tell you the way I've read these greens the last couple of days, I should wait for them to come out in paperback. So a frustrating par for Jordan. Remains even on his round, 17 under. Two back, soon to be three back. Back to 11. Jordan Spieth now, his second. Nine iron from a little under 150 yards. Oh, a little bit of a cutoff follow through. Oh, that jumped. That yeah. is the third jumper, and that was a horrible one. Third one he's had. Well, combine that, as I said earlier, David, with the heat and humidity, it's just perfect for the ball to fly forever. Quick. Yeah, and coming through the fringe complicates the things as well. Well, unfortunate, he put his tee shot in the first cut, the intermediate cut of rough. Got the flyer, and he drops to minus 16 and one over for the day. Real still, guys. Thanks. Up on the path there. Back to 12. All right, here's Jordan setting up for a little cut with a five iron. Suddenly he's four behind and doesn't like it. Well, he knew it was plenty of club. He just didn't get any slide on it. Yeah, just didn't get the slide. Far down the leaderboard that is not at least level par. He's at plus one for his final round. It's been a battle almost from the beginning today. Made bogey at one, but this is bid for birdie. Trying to get back to even. Get in. Come on. Get in. Oh, that would have got him energized as well. Would have been a bonus down the hill. And Jordan won here two years ago. He was seven shots off the lead. At one point in the final round, he had to first hole out from the bunker at 18, 70 second hole to get into the playoff. All right, let's go out to Jordan on the tee at the 13th. You no, know, he's had success, a couple of birdies on this hole this week, so he needs to get something going right away. And that's a good start, right down the middle. Jordan speed. And he just backs up off of that matter. Kind of a strong gust of wind from behind here. 129 yards he has. Well, he's taking dead aim for sure. That's his gap wedge, 52 degrees. Go. Go. Well, must have been just in between there, David. He was asking for it to go and came up about six paces short. Five paces short. All right, Jordan Spieth now up the hill. I thought this was a little right to left. There you go. And up by the screen, there are no spectators. They're back about 150 yards, so you can imagine that crowd would have been twice the size of the, by the green, but just the way they have roped it off. Now yeah, back on 14T, Jordan Spieth ready to go with the driver. Well, and it's going to take a very big shot now. It's into the breeze, which is uh, just probably 10 miles an hour. Most everybody has come up five or ten yards short and around the edge of the screen. No one's actually put it on today. Ah. <laughs> Kick right. It's fine. And that's going to be in the we'll long the stuff. Path, Downhill you. lie. Yuck. Not a very advantageous position. 14. All right, let's see what Jordan pulls off here. 
Yeah. Well, he can throw this almost all the way to the hole from here. It'll be six feet short, let it run out. Area of the game at which he excels. Yep. Yes, he does. Of course, there aren't many areas of the game where he doesn't excel. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, there's uh, just a nasty little bit of right to left in this one. Depends on the pace, of course, but uh, he could hit it right edge and firm or just glide it in there outside the right. All right. This will get him two back of our leader. A pair of threes for the final pairing at the 14th hole. And they both jump to 18 under par. 15. Gordon. Gosh, I hate this tee shot so much. All right. Right where he hit it yesterday. Yeah. Ooh. Same hill. Well. That's that actually nearly killed me. But <laughs> way to the right. Yeah. But over to 15. Zach Veer. Try to try to settle himself, and now here's Jordan. This yeah, I got a hook stance here. That's where he ended up off oh. the but tee. A clear shot. Asking oh. it to go. What a shot that was. <laughs> shot of the day. Great recovery from Jordan Spieth. That was spectacular, David. He's only two back. Pretty impressive second shot there, David Faraday. That was really good from yeah, that line. Yeah, it really was. That, that ball was way above his feet. He had to lie for the hook. Uh, and this one, not much movement in it. He can make this. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see this one go in. Making a late rally. Well, incidentally, I just found out what that noise was. It was an air cannon uh, down on the pontoon boat. There's a gentleman there that does that fairly frequently who will have some officers waiting for him when he makes landfall. And on the tee, Jordan Spieth with an eight iron. shouldn't be that's a really nice shot about eight feet it might move just a little right but it's a let's go back to 16. well david it looks like he's choosing the little wedge because his pitch mark oh my goodness he has to be aggressive anyway trailing by two but normally you think you'd putt that but his pitch mark was right in front of him so he had to chip it That thing was smoking when it hit the hole. On the tee, Jordan Spieth. <laughs> Now's the time to find a fairway. Well, that'll do it. A couple of so so pars on Thursday and Friday, and that tremendous hole out eagle after a bad tee shot yesterday on 17 for Jordan. Has to go up the left side if he wants to get this on. Did exactly that with the hard kick right. You know, that's okay. As we heard from him, he had butt on the ball. So that complicated things. Now Jordan Spieth. Well, he's got room to fly this all the way to the green, too. And uh, he, he is magical with this club. I decided to bump it. 
Just anything, anything is required. Tremendous imagination. And he has the ability to take advantage of that imagination. Peter, it could be a four way playoff again this week, like last week, <laughs> with Danny Lee in both. Stranger things have happened here, boy. I tell you what, this place is known for. More time. Back to 17. To tie the lead. Jordan Spieth, 20 under par with one hole to play. What a great fight back. All right, Jordan on the tee at the last. Yeah, he's played this beautifully mm. all week, two under. He needs another one. He'd love to find the fairway. And a great shot from the, the right rough yesterday. He doesn't want to be there today. Gonna like that. Beautiful swing under pressure. Standing still, please. Quiet on the path. Jordan has pulled six. Yeah. What was the number, David? All right, come on. Get that great picture. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a solid one. That's off the right though. It's definitely not in it's the air. Right? You're, that's, you're just feeling that trees here. Okay. It's been off that left all day. Bleeding. Why is it bleeding so much? Bleeding to the right is what he meant there. This for the win. Excellent effort, just tailed off to the right. He didn't see that in his read, but speed was perfect. They had a four-man playoff last week at the Greenbrier. Just lots of uh, extra holes played on Sunday to determine champions throughout the season on the PGA Tour. I've also gotten it to 20 under this. Jordan making it official. Well, another uh, playoff here at the John Deere for Jordan. Different circumstances. Had to hold it from the bunker in the 72nd hole in 2013 to get to the playoff, which he eventually won in five extra holes. So. A playoff once again at the John Deere Classic. And what a script. And we're back, and Jordan's getting a little lift. Back to the 18th tee. They'll play 18 twice if necessary. Then it'll be 16, 17, and 18. And if they have to go five holes, a smile from Jordan. As he was walking through the crowd, he was high fiving everybody, saying hi. Could not be more relaxed. His last 13 starts, eight top five finishes, three wins, including the Masters in the U.S. Open. Good career. <laughs> and he just looks so relaxed and comfortable. Well, congratulations. Steve Carmen with the tour. Our friend Sam Allen. Deer and Company, Go, Chairman CEO. Do it. Do it. Has 
to get it in the fairway here. Really apply the pressure to Tom Gillis. this as it drifts off yeah. to the right side he didn't miss it by much that's pretty trampled down there it's, it's over where Danny Lee was now Tom Gillis needs to hit it in the fairway that's what he's thinking he's got a chance to win for the first time in a long career he was a rookie in 93 the year Jordan Spieth was born and well, he just looks pretty good started off down the right center drawn he's driven it so well all week Matt Gogol that's a beauty it's improbable that Tom Gillis with no top 25 finishes all season is even in this position. Against the tree. Keep moving, please. Well, Jordan has pulled six iron here. That's fine, they're fine. Thank you. 192 yards, that is about right. If it doesn't jump, just keep it to the left of this oak tree and a tiny bit of cut would be perfect. Okay, it's got it in too much left. Just the same shot I just hit. Yep, exactly. Same shot he just hit, just said to Mike Grella. Exactly. Just a little to the right. Beautiful shot. And it's getting better. Beautifully judged. Coming off the slope. He should know that putt too. <laughs> it's not far from there in regulation. It's 20 minutes ago. Yeah, not bad. A couple feet. So close. Just had a little too much pace. Three feet, nine inches. Yeah. Yeah, that was solid. Yeah. Right edge. Back to the tee at the 18th. Playoff extended. And we'll be back after this message from your local CBS station. With Jordan Spieth back and ready to hit his tee shot at 18 against Tom Gillis. Watching intently. Perfect. Swinging within himself and has driven the ball beautifully all week. Oh, this is going right. Yeah. Jordan! That's short as well. Yeah, it's a long way back. Well, it's oh. low, but it's heading towards the water. We've seen this over the years. Yeah. That's going to make it to the hazard. That's what happens so easily out of that thick rough. It grabs the hosel and turns the face over. That's why I like the pitching out. Make four the long way, the hard way. Green light for Jordan. Yeah, middle of the green. As hard as I want. He has six iron again. Left and in. Beg your pardon, he has seven iron. It's 197 yards. Go at it hard and release it with seven. Okay. That would work. Smart play, David. Didn't let it get past the hole, and it's a tough up and down from over the back. Well, I got him 118 with a little bit of breeze coming back into his face, and so I thought I heard his caddy say somewhere in the high 20s, so 125 yard shot. Didn't waste any time. Coming in right. 
hoping it would kick out of the fringe and come back down the slope, but ends up hole high in the fringe. to work its way back to the right just a bit. He was trying to make it. He was. Effort, a good effort. They must make for Tom Gillis his fifth shot now. It uh, got the little wedge out there, the little six degree sandwich, and just try to plop it in the hole. Going after it. Still, it's been a terrific week for a man from the D Detroit area. It's for his fourth victory of the season, his fifth in his career, 21 years of age. And there it is. He will head to the Open Championship off a of victory. His second John Deere Classic title. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.